Hello, boys and ghouls, and welcome to Spooktober. Happy Halloween, everybody. I absolutely love this time of year, as some of you may know. So, for the month of Spooktober, I will be reading nothing but horror and thriller novels, and I am so excited to let you guys know what I'm going to be cooking up. I tend to really like spring because of all the rain. As an Oregon girl, I absolutely love the rain, but fall is a wonderful time to get cozy and curl up with a good scary book. Um, in all, I am hoping to read nine books. I have nine books on my TBR, so I will aspire to do that. Uh, I've been doing pretty good so far. So the first book I'm going to be reading is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. So this is a book about... Um, a female apothecary from the 18th century and she basically she, what she does is she gives poisons to women so that they can escape their horrible um horrible husbands something happens to her one evil dark february night and centuries later this historian named caroline parswell finds an apothecary vial and delves down into to uncover the truth and the mystery of what happened to this secret apothecary. So I will be listening to that as an audiobook. I'm going to be listening to in a lot of audiobooks this month probably because um, it's a lot easier for me to get some of the things done that I need to with um, but for my next book, my second book is a hard copy that I got from the library, and that is The Haunting of, oh, it's back, is it backwards? It is The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. This was first published in, I want to say, 19, 1959. So, um... The story of the haunting of Hill House is about four people who um, arrive at this house, each with their own intentions. Dr. Montague is an occult scholar um, looking for solid evidence of a ghost or a haunting. Um, the Dora is his lighthearted assistant. Eleanor is... Um, acquainted with poltergeist so she can see spirits and Luke is the future heir of Hill House. And they are all um, have these different kind of phenom spooky phenomenals and um, but Hill House is gathering its powers and soon it will choose one of them to make it its own. So pretty spooky. I love it. I love stories about haunted houses and spirits. Um, that's going to be a really, really fun read. Um, I have another book, actually an audio book, that I'm going to be listening to. You might have heard of it. It is The Amneville Horror by Jay Anson. So this is another book about a haunted house. I'm going to be listening to it as an audio book. Basically... In December of 1975, the Lutz family moved into their dream home. Um, but it was the same home where somebody murdered his parents, brothers, and sisters just one year earlier. The psychic phenomena basically forces them to move, uh, flee their home 28 days later. Um, but not before some terrors or occur at the house. The fourth book that I am hoping to read this month is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. 
you might have, um, I think he was the same author that wrote Gone Girl. So I wasn't a fan of Gone Girl. I actually don't think, I never finished it. Um, but this one sounds a lot more interesting. So it's about a girl named Libby Day. And when she was seven, her mother and her two sisters were murdered um, by, as a Satan sac sacrifice to Satan. And she testified that her 15 year old brother, Ben, was the killer. Um, 25 years later, the Kill Club, which is a secret society that's obsessed with true crime, um, locates Libby and asks for details about the murder, and they hope to discover proof that Ben didn't do it. Libby's just there to make money. She's hoping that she can earn some cash from this, but um, starts to discover some truths about her past. Unfortunately, comes across the path of a killer. Murder mystery, I love it. Will they find out who it is in time? Was it really her brother? Who knows? I'll find out. I am reading a couple of really good classics this month as well. I am, I've am i already started on Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I have a hard copy of the book, but I also have an audiobook copy of Frankenstein, and uh, I want to try to read as many audiobooks this month as possible because there's just something about listening to a spooky, scary story that I absolutely love. Um, so Frankenstein is about this uh, scientist, and it turns out that he's like just super into the idea of philosophy and um, what it means to be human. Um, psychology and stuff like that and a lot of people have thought that oh that's not really real science but he ended up doing research about what it means to be a man and what different components it takes and creating a person so I am thoroughly enjoying it it's you it's all it's primarily um, an episcular story narrative, which means that it's mainly just letters written back and forth. Um, and that's how the story is told, but I am really enjoying listening to it. The last book that I'm going to be listening to as an audiobook, hopefully, if I can get it done in time, because I am listening to a lot of audiobooks this month, is The Hounds of Baskersville by Arthur Doyle. Uh, I've never actually read any Sherlock Holmes before, so this will be really fun. So this is about the sudden death of Charles Baskersville, um, and he had been said to be haunted by a ghostly hound that has been haunting his family for generations. Um, so Sherlock Holmes is on the cake case to dismiss this spooky theory. I saw the movie based on this, um, so I kind of know what happens. I'm interested to see if the current, if the up-to-date movie adheres to the book, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And you just can't have a horror marathon horror book marathon without the king. He is one of my favorite authors. I just absolutely love his realistic, like, psychological story writing, and it's very, like, thriller and very dark, and it gets, like, listening and getting the inside view of the people in the narratives and how real they are is just absolutely phenomenal. So I'm currently going to be reading Cujo. I've already started this book. I started this book this summer. Um, a lot of you already know what Cujo is about. It's about this possessed dog. So the friendly neighborhood dog Cujo um, goes into a rabbit's den and uh, comes out possessed. I'm not sure who did it. But now he's no longer the neighborhood good boy. He is 
something else. Um, so I'm really excited to read this and I might actually possibly watch the movie as well. And the second Stephen King book, so the eighth book I'm going to be reading, is a book that I've read before, but it's also on my 100 essential books to read in your lifetime list. And I really want to um, follow through with that. And that is Misery by Stephen King. Um, I read this book in high school and I really, really enjoyed it. I remember that. But I haven't read it like as an adult and I want to reread it as an adult. Um, Misery is about this guy who um, gets in a really bad car accident. He, he's, a, he's a famous author and he gets into a really bad car accident and he is essentially kidnapped by his number one fan. Um, and so sh she's like nurturing him back to health, but also forcing him to write like his last novel. Um, so it's really, really cool. I remember loving it, but I really would like to, again, read the book and then immediately watch the movie. I've heard a little bit about the movie, but I've never seen it. So I want to actually see it and kind of do a little bit of a comparison. And last but not least, um, the last book that I have on my TBR, if I don't get to it, it it's on my, the last one on my list, because if I don't get to it, I just don't get to it. Um, cause this, it doesn't really go along with the theme of this month, but that is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So even though I'm, I might not get to this book, it's, going to be it's not on my priority list but I am super excited um I'm about a third of the way through this one and for some of you might know I've been trying to reread the Harry Potter series in one year for a very long time I feel like every single um New Year's I start off with the first one and then I usually like stop around the fifth, fourth one like halfway through the fourth one but not this year so I'm currently on the sixth one, and I will see how far I can get through this one. If not, I will finish it in November and read the seventh one in December. Here is my TBR pile. It's a little short because there's definitely a lot of audiobooks on here to this year for this month, but I am super excited to get a little bit spooky. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. What kind of books are you guys going to be reading for October? Are you going to be reading anything scary? Um, are you looking forward to any like scary books that are coming out this month? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, bookworms, bookworms stay spooky. Bye!